Hi everybody, welcome to dmnoob.com. My name is Mike, I am the DM Noob. Sorry if I look and sound a little disheveled today. Uh, it's been a long couple of days and uh, I'm kind of tired. It's, it's been a tough couple of days. Um, something happened and I wanted to talk to you guys, um, especially to new DMs because uh, I want you guys to be able to avoid this situation, but it might not be possible and you'll eventually have to face it. And to be honest, I'm losing sleep because I'm pretty sure I've done it wrong. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I did. Uh, I'm, I'm not upset with the result, but I'm not happy with the path. Um, I've lost a player. Uh, and, you know, big deal. People lose players all the time. We lose, you know, it, it's D&D. &D. Players come and go. So be it. Uh, but it's the way that this happened. Um, one of my players has left very, very angrily, very frustrated. Um, and it turned pretty ugly. Now, this player is a good guy. He's a great guy. Um, he has been a great part of the team. Uh, if, if we did in, indeed genuinely all hate him so much, he'd have been gone months ago. But we all did our best to befriend him and hang out with him and really do good because we all think the world of him. We really do. But uh, things have happened and situation kind of went a little weird. We... He's a very eccentric player, and uh, those eccentricities were sometimes difficult for some of the other players. Uh, I talked to him about it multiple times, especially when others would come to me about it. I would tell them to, well, see, here's the thing. I have a standing policy. Um, if you have a problem with another player, go talk to the other player. I'm not saying I don't want to be involved. I am involved. I'm the DM. But go talk to the other player um, and times when other players would come to me with frustrations about him uh, I would listen and then I go talk to him uh, he would come to me with frustrations about other players and I would go talk to the other players about it and he'd become very offended by that uh, but I don't go with the whole please don't tell him I said that because I believe in life that if you're going to talk about somebody and then say, please don't tell him I said that, you're a fucking coward. And I don't put up with that. Be a man and go talk to him. Um, this player, here's the other problem. For me, getting together to play D&D is, it's a vessel for the game. The game is almost secondary for me. Uh, for me, it's more about the friendships, the camaraderie, the hanging out. And for this player, very much was not. Um, uh, he openly blasted the entire group, said that uh, we needed to quit with all of our, our chatting and stories and having uh, conversations when we all got together, that it was game time. And if we wanted to talk to each other, save that for the Discord. When we're together, you, you, we should be playing. Uh, he felt basically we were wasting his time. Uh, he came to me with that and whether or not I felt he should tell the other players. I said, absolutely, you should tell the other players because that's my policy. If you feel that way, there's a reason you feel that way and you should tell them. And he very quickly did go tell them all and uh, they didn't take it very well. Uh, they all 100% disagreed with him. Now, my opinion on this uh, didn't really matter quite as much because I facilitate the game. It's the player's game. I put this together for them, for their benefit and for their enjoyment. So this had more to do with them than me. Um, for the record, I 100% disagreed with them as well. But I, again, always encourage my players, if you have something to say, you say it. Uh, but do it with some respect. So that caused a lot of contention at this last week's game. 
uh, especially since this player then proceeded to do a lot of time wasting uh, and a lot of other very disrespectful things throughout the night that I'm not going to get into a lot of details of, but a lot of very disrespectful things throughout the night. Um, I was very upset at how, at how the night went. And uh, some other players came to me after the game and said, that's, that's out of control. Uh, he, they said, yeah, you need to do something. And I expressed to them, yes, I'm very frustrated as well. Um, I need to make a decision as to whether or not this player stays or goes. And that's always a difficult thing, especially when you consider this person a friend. And I can guarantee you he does not consider me a friend anymore. Um, but here's how this went down. And here's what I'm trying to reconstruct in my head as to what happened. Uh, I messaged him and I said, I'm really not happy with how tonight went. Uh, I, th I think we need to talk about this. We need to have a discussion, but it's almost midnight and we need to talk tomorrow. I think we need some sleep and need to clear our heads and chat tomorrow. Uh, by the time I woke up, he had quit the group, made some very frustrating accusations about everybody and then proceeded to further things. And I'm not going to get into some of what happened uh, out of respect for the player. I'm not going to get into some of the things that happened. But uh, he went nuclear on us uh, and stormed out and uh, left some very unhappy messages for everybody and got the hell out. And... My decision was that he would have stayed, flat out. Uh, I, I wanted him to stay and I wanted to chat with him, tell him why I was frustrated, why others were frustrated, and make some kind of an agreement to help him work on some of, this, uh, some of these attitude issues. And we'd love to have him continue to play because here's the thing, we all enjoy him. We all think he's a good player. His character is awesome. He's a very eccentric, wild character. But uh, we all enjoyed him, and we liked his company. And you can talk to any other player. They'll tell you the same thing. We really enjoyed his company, and we enjoyed his friendship. Um, he didn't feel that way, and it became apparent he's not felt that way for months and felt that we all hated him very much um, and that we were all incredibly horrible people and disrespectful and all of that. Um, I don't think we have been. I could be wrong. Um, I genuinely wish him all the best. I mean that very sincerely. And I know he's watching this. Um, and I know you think I'm full of shit. And that's fine. Okay? Uh, that's totally fine. You're welcome to. Uh, but, dude, I do wish you the best. And I hope you do find a game that meshes with your style and meshes with the way you like to play uh, because this is a wonderful hobby and uh, I, I hope that it works out for you. Now, I'm sorry that things didn't go well with, for you with this group. I'm sorry that uh, you felt the way you felt. Right or wrong, it doesn't matter. You felt the way you felt and there was a reason for that. Um, so know that we do miss you and uh, that uh, we do genuinely wish you the best. Uh, and so I guess the point of this is not, here's the thing, I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm not looking for vindication. I'm not looking for, oh, poor Mike, look at all the shit, shit he's got to go through. I'm not looking for, oh, wow, you know, what's he going to have to deal with or What I'm after is that this is still bothering me a lot. I've been in business and I've been in performing and I've been in stuff most of my life and people come and go. And very, very, very few times ever did it really hit me hard. Um, this one did. 
uh, I wish things had gone better and I don't know what I did. I know I've done this wrong. I'm not sure how. Um, in hindsight, uh, the, he probably should have been gone a long time ago because there was a certain level of toxic, toxicity brewing that uh, was hurting the other players. Uh, but we cared about him and we tolerated things and because we wanted him to be a part of it. Um, God, this is getting very maudlin, isn't it? Ah, sorry. I'd like your thoughts, but I do. And uh, to you, buddy, this player, uh, you feel free to comment all you want. Tell your side of things. I won't argue. Uh, if you feel that you would like to do so, you go ahead and, uh, you know, tell your side of the story. And uh, explain to people why you were so frustrated, uh, why you think that we were meeting together every session behind your back to talk mad shit on you, and that's all we ever cared about, and why you feel that we completely and totally uh, we're unappreciative of everything you brought to the table, which is word for word what you've accused us all of. Uh, I would like to hear your side of the story since you kind of you know, went nuclear and then disappeared and didn't feel like talking to any of us about any of this. Um, I'm pretty upset about that too, that uh, I wanted to com have a conversation with you and be a man about this and you didn't. Um, God, this is turning into a real shit video. I'm sorry. Um, this, I, did, I didn't mean this to sound like I'm calling people out. The purpose of this was I wanted to get your guys' thoughts on what happened, what I did wrong, uh, and how I let this continue, how I let this happen. Um, and what your guys' thought on, thoughts are on how to avoid this. Uh, but thanks again for listening to me. This is just one of my stupid little rants, and it's probably not going to mean anything to anybody, really, but I just needed to get it off my chest, so thank you. But um, tune in next time for a far more exciting and fun video where we're actually going to talk about things and stuff and game and dice and all that magical, wonderful stuff. I appreciate all of you, and I appreciate all that all of you do. Uh, peace out, and I will talk to you all later.